There's a very famous saying in English that first learn and then remove the letter L. If you're learning Flutter or you have developed a couple of applications using it, this video is going to be very helpful because I will tell you all the different phases of mobile development. And also I'm going to share a very cool business idea at the end of this video. So make sure to watch complete video. And we are starting right away. Being a mobile developer, that too in Flutter, it really annoys me when I use applications like this on a daily or monthly basis. So I decided to revamp the UI, enhance the user experience and finally sell this app to the service provider. Perfect. So first thing you have to do is plan out the project. Now typically mobile app have following four phases, UI design, front end, back end APIs and testing. Now you can use these four points to break down your estimate when you are coding to the client. Now we are just talking about the development phase. We are not talking about the post release that you need support and all those things. Let's come to the topic and we are going to cover it one by one. I'm not a design expert. The best idea when you don't have expertise in something, better to consult someone, better to hire someone. So I decided to contact one of my UI UX designer friend and I sent him a message. But unfortunately, his laptop was broken and he couldn't help me. So hiring someone from Fiverr was one of the options at this point of time. But I cannot invest money upfront because this is just my side project. So I have to do the designing part myself. Now for designing, you need inspiration. So I went through a couple of applications which I use on a daily basis for utility payments and other stuff. And I came up with this design which really sucks. It doesn't look professional at all. So I went on a dribble site and looked at a couple of design reference, like what people are using. Finally, with mix and match of component, I designed this UI, which looks much better, at least to me. Before we conclude, it's a good idea to take a review from someone. And the first person to take review was my designer friend whose laptop was broken, remember? So I sent him screenshots and he provided a bunch of feedback, which was really helpful. And also I shared the screenshot to a couple of other people which uh, they really liked the design and provided just some, you know, minor adjustments. With all those changes and the feedback, the design is finally ready. Let's move to the development phase. So generally I create empty Flutter project inside VS Code and create folders and files as and when needed. First, I add all the assets, fonts and link them inside PubSpec YAML. And this is kind of a project setup. If you want to learn the basics, I would recommend you to watch some other basic Flutter tutorials. You know, this is just basic idea how you approach the project. I have also added the colors file, uh, you know, all the colors which I'm going to use across the application. And now we will begin with the actual UI design. So let's create a new file. And first thing I always do in the design is wrap everything inside a safe area because nowadays the devices come with the different shapes and sizes and they have the notch, they have the curvy edge. So it's better to use safe area so that your design doesn't go on the edges. And also you will find this source code on a GitHub. I'll put link in the description. So you don't have to worry about fast or slow how I'm going in the video. You can learn at your own pace. You will notice that I'm using a size box here in the UI component instead of using padding because it's a cleaner way and more customizable than providing padding to actual widget. Similarly, I created the quick action. It's just an icon wrapped inside a container with some decoration and there's a text to it. Now, similarly, I have designed the amount. It's just a combination of columns and rows and text along with the button. Now, before we move to the graph, which is going to be the most complex part, uh, let's first assign gradient background by wrapping everything inside a container. This decoration property you can use in number of different ways. You can use linear gradient, radial gradient. You can provide, you know, a bunch of effects, shape, sizes and all that. So you have to focus on a style as it's very important to get the same look and feel. Now comes the most important part, the graph. So I search a couple of packages on pub.dev which provides graph widget. And after checking the pub points and latest updates, I decided to go with the graphics package. Now I tried to search for the example, but I didn't find anything. Then I visited on a GitHub repo and found this shattering. I thought I made a wrong decision for package, but I didn't really give up. Then after searching a little bit, I found a documentation link, something to start with. The core part is data here. So let's create our history data first. Perfect. Now I'll bring the chart widget and provide necessary mappings for rows and column. 
let's also provide some other decoration which will give the graph the rounded corner and information of x and y axis i'm going to make it gradient by providing gradient encode this took me some time uh, to figure out which property does what exactly and also change the shape and size to match our design here's the final outcome looks just like the design perfect Finally, let's see how I created the bottom navigation bar. I used a stack widget and made the initial container, whatever we have designed so far, fill the entire space. Now on top of that, I used another simple row with icons to make navigation bar. Most of the decoration thing is done here with the help of container widget, which is very powerful. You can utilize it, you know, to create a different shapes and sizes and shadows and whatnot. So uh, that's a very powerful widget out there. All right, our app is looking perfect, but this is just a UI. We need to connect it to back an API and do a testing before selling it to the service provider. But it doesn't really stop us to pitch the idea of revamping old application to the new application. Now that is the business plan that you have to reach out the companies or you know the application you, which you use on a daily basis and you found that this is not looking like an industry standard or you found that you can do a better uh, version of that. So you can reach out the service provider and you can charge them a fair amount and you can probably collaborate with the project on them. Anyways, I'm going to contact the official app provider on LinkedIn and via email for collaboration. You can also find out some crappy apps in your area and contact the service provider and you can revamp the whole application for a reasonable amount. I will let you know if I get a positive response from the owner of the application. Meanwhile, you can hit the like, subscribe the channel and thanks for watching.